Hey everybody, I am going to try something a little bit different tonight. Last time, last night was my first Periscope broadcast and I was going to do some live drawing, but one of the artists that, uh, that I follow, David Cho, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him or not, crazy artist, you probably heard about him making like a gazillion dollars off of doing murals in Facebook's headquarters and he's just crazy and, and awesome. And one of the things he talked about, as far as projects are, and see by the title, is that a banana or, is just drawing out a banana with a ballpoint pen. And I looked around and, wow, I have a banana and a ballpoint pen, so I figured I'd give it a try. And this kind of falls in line with something else that I do. I do a blog called The Kitchen Project, where I take things from whatever I can find in my kitchen and I just make art pieces out of it. So I figure we give this a go. So we got a banana. And I got a pen, and we're going to try to draw on it. And this is a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm actually doing this with an iPad, so I have this set up on top of a glass vase, believe it or not, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm kind of manipulating around that, but we'll just get started. And the idea is, number one, the ballpoint pen just glides along the surface of it. And with the way that banana is oxidized, the cool thing about it is it's kind of like tattooing because it'll actually oxidize and the areas that you push into the skin of the banana will actually turn brown because if you've ever bought bananas you know that they turn brown in about 30 seconds so we're just going to draw on here and I had kind of an idea of what I was going to do and you'll see what that is in a minute, but it's really easy to draw on. This is actually easier to draw on than paper. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be a fish, absolutely. Well, the thing is, when I was thinking about this, and I literally had this idea like maybe 15 minutes before we started this, and this is kind of awkward. I wish you could see the whole view of how I have to manipulate around to, to get to this and draw this. But uh, I thought about the idea of tattooing and Believe it or not, I do not have any tattoos. I think I'm the only person walking around this planet with no tattoos and no cell phone, if you can believe it, which is why I'm doing this on an iPad. But when you think about, <laughs> you think about tattoos, the thing that I think about are like the traditional Japanese style ones, where you see a lot of dragons and you see a lot of koi. And the koi are probably my favorite because they're just big and bright. Yep, exactly. They're koi fish, exactly right. They're just big and bright and, you know, they're in these amazing poses. And they're one of the, one of my favorite. Oh, look, there's the fear agenda. Welcome back. Canada in the house. Do they have koi in Canada? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'd love to have a koi pond. I have a turtle. Um, that I would love to get a fan I'd love to get a pond for, but I don't have any koi. They're pretty cool. They say they'll jump up and they'll actually eat out of your hand and they breathe air and and all kinds of things like that. And the cool thing about this is I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but you can get in the color of the pen, but it's actually starting to oxidize and it's starting to turn brown already. So we'll just keep going with this. See, does anybody out there draw? Or did you just see the title of, hey, is that a banana? And you wondered what this was going to be about. I'm going to actually slice this off so we can get more of a fish kind of look. See, I've already had an incident today, not from this, but I'm reasonably injury prone. I sound like Amy Poehler. Is that a, is that good? Wouldn't that be crazy if I actually was Amy Poehler? <laughs> awesome, thanks. So I'm gonna work with this now. Granted, I have to be honest. I have never done this before, and on my blog, it's a little bit more forgiving because I just take pictures and I just write about it. So if I if I mess up the project, oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing over here. Um, if I mess up the project, I just you know start over. Here we're live. So what I'm gonna try to do here is cut this out. 
and make a tail. Put this on here. So I figure if you know the art career doesn't take off, maybe I could be a caterer. Not that anybody would be dying to have me touching their food like this, but so be it. Put this out here, but one of the things, anyone out here, out here ever ever hear of that artist I was talking about, David Show? You guys know who he is? You should check him out. He's, I, I gotta be honest, he's a little bit out of his mind. I mean, he's pretty crazy. He really likes to party. And his art is definitely out there. I mean, like, I draw voodoo dolls, but this dude draws, like, crazy stuff with guns and all kinds of all kinds of things. And he's doing, he's doing video now. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to shade in the scales a little bit. Just give it a little bit of dimension. I apologize, I keep forgetting to look at the screen. I'm looking down at what I'm doing versus the, the screen, so I hope you guys can see everything okay. Is anyone else out there artists? That's a no. Okay. <laughs> Yay, it's only me! <laughs> but this is actually pretty, this is pretty fun. You know, and I think if you didn't go through with a skin all the way, you could probably just, like, pimp out a bunch of bananas. Like, I don't know if you pack lunches or if you just want to freak out your coworkers. Graphic design are awesome. Me too. What kind of graphic design do you do? Do you do web? Do you do print? I have to tell you, I love doing this kind of stuff. I started doing this just because I'm a graphic designer as well. And I'm in front of the monitor all day. I mean, and, and it's great, but you know, you get, I don't know, you get a little stale when you've been in the, in front of the monitor the, the whole day. So it's, it's kind of nice to get away from it. So now we've got the body of our fish. That was pretty quick, right? Not too bad. So let's see if we can make a dorsal fin. I think that's what they call it. I know that's what they call it on sharks. Yeah, I know, I know, right? How did I how did I not start doing this before? I think everybody should draw on a nanner once in a while. Let's see, we got this thing. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Well, I think it's important to, to kind of learn to use what you got, you know? And it forces you to be a little more creative. It's funny with the uh with this kitchen project stuff, I'm just making crazy stuff out of, out of whatever. I've made like unicorns out of bacon, and let's put this so you guys can see it a little bit more. And like big phoenix birds out of aluminum foil, crazy stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> The bacon one, you know, it was funny. People got like super upset about the bacon one. I think it was it was, it was raw bacon, and it was a unicorn, and that's I, I don't know. I just think that's funny, but um, not everyone agreed apparently. So let's see if we can go 3D, and we'll cut this fin out. Did any of the rest of you guys broadcast on this? This is my second Periscope broadcast. So I'm still just learning how to do it. I've seen some really cool people out there, though, doing some really neat stuff. There we go. Look at that 3D, like that. We get that white of the banana. So let's see what we can do with the eye. This is hard. There we go. Has anyone else seen anybody make a fish out of a banana yet? on Periscope. Maybe this is the first. Everybody will be doing it. You'll see. Well, I mean, you know, it's only a, ma <laughs> it's only a matter of time. I need to check out your podcast. Let's pimp that while we're on here, while I'm doing my thing. Why don't you throw up the link to that tip for everybody? So everybody knows where to find you, Fear Agenda. Put it out there, dude. 
I'm all about promoting other people. There you go. Anybody else want to pimp anything? No? All right. There you go. So now we've got our eye. We've got our fish. Like so. Apparently not. It's just you and me. Apparently. Everybody else is just chilling. Let's see. I'm trying to put this so you guys can see it all. That, so we'll get the little tail. And like on the cooking shows, I actually cut up another banana earlier. And I... <laughs> right? There are a couple pips right here. So I'm just going to make a tail out of this. This is starting to look more like a fighting fish. I'm going to have to pan out a little bit so you guys can see all of this. So it looks kind of crazy. So the question is, am I going to be able to eat this banana afterwards or not? After having my hands all over it. I don't know. But I promised myself I would only give myself a few minutes to do this. And we're just about... Done. <laughs> yeah, right? When in doubt, yeah. I like to eat. It's okay. I think it's only fair. Here, Jenny, you're where? Are you in Calgary? With my with my friends Adam and Brian? Right on. I need to get up there. I am in Florida, which is not like not like Canada at all. Although we have a lot of Canadians down here. We can always tell because y'all do not wear any clothes. So, all right. All right. And I think my time is just about up, so I'm going to pan out and show you how this guy looks. Take this off of my little stand. No, <laughs> yeah, Florida is pretty scary. It's, it's crazy. Um, I mean, we have some nice people here, but it's, it's a little, it can be a little crazy. And so here we go. That was just our quick little koi slash slash fighting fish demo and just how to draw let me see if I can zoom in on this so you guys can see how it looks hopefully we'll be able to focus in a little bit there we go and you can see the color of the of the pen but you can see that it's oxidizing a little bit already so it's like tattooing so here's our little our little banana Koi fish, and I'll do another one of one of these that's a little bit more detailed. This one I really didn't plan. I just figured, well, let's try it, and, and why not why not do it live? And that's your kitchen project slash doodle after dark tutorial. How to draw on a banana. So, I mean, my big thing is just. You know, if you have the inkling to draw, just draw. It can be on a banana. It can be on a Coke can. It can be on anything. Just as long as you're you're creating, you never know what you'll be able to make. And so, I think, unless you guys have any questions for me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> banana cream pie. Is that what you meant? Yeah. <laughs> Cool. All right. Well, I think that's it for my demo, unless you guys have any questions for me. Uh, I'll take pictures of this, and I'll put it up on my blog so y'all can see it. But next time, maybe we'll do some live drawing on the sketch pad, and we'll do it by request. And you guys can tell me what you want to see, and I'll draw it. It'll be like drawing karaoke. Basically, you guys put your comments in there, and, and I'll draw it which is very, very scary for me and very, <laughs> very, very exciting. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks.